Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, today I'm going to answer Abdul. In the same time, I will add some information for those who like to learn. Uh, we have an Abdul in here. His, his name uh, Bagos DM. Uh, actually, you know, I like Bagos. I wanna honestly, uh, if if the city allowed me to grow some of you in my yard, I will do so. I like I like Muslims in general. You know, uh, let us see what Bagos is saying. Bagos is very intelligent. He is not the same as all Muslims. You know, he is different kind. Like he have three ears uh, most of muslims have two but this guy he have two ears and look what he's saying who is the father of jacob okay who is the father of jacob matt 116 and jacob because joseph all right mm -hmm. uh, the uh, uh, the husband of mary okay luke 3 23 and jesus himself began uh, to be about uh, 30 30 year uh, uh, of age being the son of Joseph, which which was the son of Haley, man, a Muslim he found, and look, he says, I can find you more than sixty contradiction. Actually, he's posting here something after we we will we will talk about it too. I can find you more than sixty contradiction in the in the Bible. Sixty contradiction. Oh, okay, okay, you know, uh, Abdul, just to show you how stupid you are, the verse in Luke is speaking about Joseph is the son of Haley, which is the father of Mary. And he is uh, his father-in-law. Did you get the point, Abdul? It, until now, they say uh, when you marry from a girl, her father is your father-in-law. So, uh, and here he did not say father-in-law. He just said he was a son of uh, uh, Haley because simply he is his son by law. So, Abdul, there is no contradiction. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You could, you could, you could come to daddy. All right. Uh, very smart Muslims. Very intelligent. Brother Titter, I found the crowd. In the, in the Bible, number one contradiction in one verse in the Bible says the father of Jesus, the father of uh, uh, Joseph is, uh, 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 is Jacob, and the other verse saying is Haley. This is a very clear contradiction. Now, I will mention something else he posted in here in Exod uh, Exodus uh, 15 3. The Lord is, is man of war, the Lord is man of war, the Lord is his name. Uh, the, now the God of peace be with you all. I mean, this is a contradiction, man. If we go right now to Exodus, the verse you are talking about, this is Exodus 15, which is uh, a song uh, from Moses to his Lord. And simply, uh, this song present what? Present Moses celebrating the victory which the Lord he gave to uh, his people over Pharaohs. So what what uh, what Moses is saying here that even Pharaoh who is, was a great king he cannot win against the Lord he is the Lord of war you know which means he nobody can win against him so you silly yes he is the Lord of peace but you want to go against the Lord you think you are going to win and you Muslims and the funny you Muslims believe that Moses he went by the support of God isn't it God who destroyed the army of the Pharaoh in the ocean? And you believe in the same story which you copy from our Bible? Abdul, you are silly and you are dummy. In the same time, the funny, uh, the Quran say the same. The Quran says that God of Islam is about peace. In the same time, he encouraged Muslims to fight and kill. So if this is a, con a contradiction, here we go, you are a contradiction. But now, as long as you mention something about names, I like that. What is the name, uh, uh, you know, what is the name of the father of Jacob? We answer you about that, of, of Joseph, sorry. Now, I want to ask you, what is the name of the father of Moses? And what is the name of the father of Mary? Your God could not get the name right. Here we go. You are just quoting for us from the Bible. The name Haley, as we see in the, in the text, Hmm? And that is the father of uh, Mary. So why in the Quran your God Allah could not find the correct name? Why in the Quran Allah he say that the father of Mary is Amran? Who is Amran? Who is Amran, man? Like, come on, come on, who is Amran? It's very obvious that your God do not know anything about names. And that not only a contradiction, this is a, a, a very bad error. To not like to claim to be God, but you do not know the name of the person. 
Now we know in the Quran in chapter 19 verse number 28 the Quran he called Mary the mother of Jesus O oh, the sister of Aaron O oh, the sister of Aaron you ask the Muslim they say oh this is because you know in old generations they used to call people by uh, like a sister like you know he's like a grandfather uh, first of all you liars uh, in the Middle East we don't say to someone he is older than me especially if he's exist hundred of years of, of me uh, the brother of our you we will call him the son of not the brother of or the sister of the daughter of not that not the sister of sister and brother is for somebody from your age uh, as an example I have cousins they are in the age of my uncles you believe it or not I call them uncles they are in the age of my dad I don't call them even they are my cousins we have an obligation in the Middle East to respect the age of the person. So he's older, you call him uncle. Even if he is, you know, especially if he's in the age of your dad, not just an older like a year or two. So in here, we have Mary, she is, uh, 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 you know, Har Harun and Aaron is, is, uh, is not a year or two older. This person, he exists hundreds of years before Mary was exist. So what we will do in here, we will see if... Muhammad he made a mistake about Mary the sister of Aaron <clears throat> because Aaron Aaron he have a sister her name is Mary too Aaron and Moses and and Mary uh, or Maryam sorry you know in, in Arabic we say Maryam and this is the correct name actually uh, uh, all of them they have the same uh, you know the, 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 she, she have the same name as Maryam the mother of Jesus but Muhammad because he's ignorant he made that mistake because he thought that this is the sister of Aaron now, to, to investigate this and to give the proofs, we will not make speeches. What we will see in here in chapter 19, verse 28, and uh, uh, in, in there, the chapter mentioning clearly uh, uh, Mary as a sister of Aaron, and not only that. If we go and see Mary, who is the father of Mary? Just to see if Muhammad understand, it, as, understand Mary and, and Aaron as a brother or sisters for real or not. Is it a metaphor, metaphorical meaning? Uh, or it is a real brotherhood what we will do uh, first of all we know that there is a big chapter in the Quran it's called the chapter of Amran chapter of Amran you see it Amran what Amran who is Amran according to Muhammad Mary is the daughter of Amran which is false which is a stupid which is a lie this is the first uh, mistake so the Muslim is speaking about wrong names you know and ask yourself why the Christians why the Jews why anybody wanna 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 change the name of Mary father? Like did do, do, they they know that Muhammad one day is going to call him different name? This is a book exist before Muhammad even born, and this is the name of my, uh, what 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 the Christian will gain from changing the name of Mary father? Nothing that will make Jesus God. No, this is her father, and this is his name. So even the name of the father of Mary Muhammad he could not get it correct. But this is not the issue now. The issue is bigger. If we go we will see that Muhammad in the Quran chapter 3 verse number 33 huh, saying that uh, Allah he chose from the people of Amran uh, uh, from all the world they are his favorite which means the family of Mary they are the best in the same time uh, uh, Mary the wife of Amran chapter 3 verse number 35 which is proving that Mary, she is the wife of a man, his name, uh, uh, Umran. <clears throat> Sorry, not Mary, the, the mother of, uh, of, uh, of Mary. Uh, she is talking to her husband, who her, her, uh, his, his name is Umran. If we go to Yusuf Ali translation, we will see uh, the following. Behold, a woman of Umran said, Oh my Lord, I, it, it, so this is the mother of Mary she is speaking and she who, who is her husband her name his name is Omran okay uh, you know she, so that's a great news so now we what we will uh, what we will see in here uh, or what we are getting in here that Mary her father uh, is Omran Mary is called the sister of her Aaron and which means the sister of Moses too because Aaron is a, is a brother of Moses uh, and now what we need to prove do Muhammad think that Moses his last name is Umran or let's say his father name is Umran if that is the case 
then Muhammad he made for sure a big poo poo. All right. Uh, and here you see actually in chapter 66 verse number 12 the Quran says and Mary the daughter of Amran so this is a very clear announcement from the Quran that Mary is a daughter of a man his name is Amran not only this is a mistake because it's a contradiction with the uh, uh, older bi uh, uh, books which is exist before Islam saying that this name is not correct it is uh, a proof that Muhammad is a false person because if we go in the hadith and uh, I choose this website <coughs> sorry actually <coughs> I choose this website because this website showing you if the hadith is correct or not look with me in here if you see uh, uh, down you will see with me this it says down in here hadith sahih so if Abdul wanna come to me and say oh this is a weak hadith this is a hadith uh, miss vitamin A and B and D and C and F and M and M, you know it doesn't work all right this is a correct hadith approved by your scholars it says sahih look what your prophet is saying that Harun is a son of Umran which mean Muhammad he think that Harun his father is Umran Mary her father is Umran and this is why he called Mary the sister of Aaron now we can show you tons of verses and tons of uh, sorry a ton of, of hadith and all of them they are correct saying the same and to make things more clear we go to the Quran chapter 3 verse number 33 and we read the tafsir of Ibn Abbas and I don't Muslim I don't think Muslim they will say to me Ibn Abbas is getting paid by me and he's making things up look what Ibn Abbas is saying when the Jews heard this they say we follow the religion of Adam we are Muslims oh the Jews says that oh okay right 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 so and and, and so Allah revealed the following Lu Allah preferred Adam with Islam and Noah with Islam and the family of Abraham the children of Abraham with Islam and the family of Amran Moses and Aaron so do you see it those are the children of Amran and this is why your prophet he think that Mary is a sister of Aaron so Muslims do not talk about uh, uh, errors before reading you see when we speak about Islam we go read your books and the more we read the more we see how silly stupid is the one who created this religion and actually uh, the Muslims today they are trying to delete the majority of uh, of the hadith because the hadith and the interpretation and the explanation are are, are exposing Islam big deal but it, it doesn't work no more you know the internet is preserving everything they have a conference in in uh, in Istanbul uh, uh, I think it was 2007 uh, and the purpose of this conference is uh, to delete the hadith they wanna they wanna delete the hadith uh, uh, let us say they wanna keep from the hadith maybe uh, one percent those who do not show Muhammad as a fool do not teach Muhammad like you know Muhammad saying if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a boy you know those things expose Muhammad big deal so what they are trying to do they are trying to filter those hadith and try to make a new box of the hadith only those who fit with science and they don't have contradiction don't have stupidity but it's not going to work too late maybe if the Muslims did that uh, a few hundred years ago or even 100 years ago you know it can it can be work but today the internet those books is all over you know too late you know and what about the Christians who have uh, Islamic books all over what you can do with them you, you cannot like I live in America I have uh, uh, all the books of Ibn Kathir are you going to take them from my shelf mm, you cannot so anyway Christ is Lord and Islam is a stupid made by a stupid and the one who believe in it he must be a fool see you with more videos and don't forget guys to tell your friends about my book the deception of Allah and now it is available in Kindle so if you want get yours See you soon and to enjoy uh, more of my video. Thank you.